Super Pelletov here, and welcome back to the Bam Bam playthrough. We are in the sealed tunnel on the plateau, and we're in here because, well, the sick needs to get stronger. We farmed out all of the tier 5 stones to upgrade our weapon. We're on to tier 6s right now. I ran the wrong way. Now, I wouldn't say that there's a ton of these in here or anything. That would be very misleading. But there is a chance that we find a couple of them at least, and it should be relatively easy to do that. So the same rules that apply to everywhere else apply here too. These guys take more damage from blunt weapons. They are also weak to like fire and magic if you wanted to do something like that. Uh, as you can see against the walls in here are the smithing stone fives, but there are some sixes if you know where to look. Oh, Smithing Stone Miner Bell Bearing 2. That's an early find in here. Uh, actually, that means we can vendor a few of the lower tier Smithing Stones if we ever wanted to like upgrade another weapon or something. Oh God, this one's different. Oh, there's a root there. Uh, if you haven't caught on to the shtick of this place yet, there's a lot of illusionary walls. If you know where to roll, you'll get through this place pretty fast. If you don't, uh, you might need to replace your B button on your controller here pretty soon. This main room is what we're looking for. It is not unguarded. In fact, the vulgar militia are around every corner. <laughs> oh, that's actually problematic. I gotta go down there and kill him. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna drop down and we're gonna stand here by this statue. Doesn't matter if we live or not, the statue is what we're after, and I need one of these... What are these things called? The serpent kidnapper things? I need this to hit the statue behind me. Basically, you need a really big enemy to make this happen. Uh, they should know I'm in here. The vulgar militia don't seem any the wiser, but this guy should know. Oh, here we go. This is good. Thank you! Oh, God. Now all we do is drop back down there, get our stuff, but most importantly, get the loot inside of this statue. So that's three, that'll get me started, but we still have to find a lot more. Oh God, no, 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 okay, I'm fine. Since we're in here, we might as well work our way down to kill the boss as well. There is this kind of parkour section. <laughs> yeah, working completely as intended, there we go. You know, we've been in this cave a lot, but I don't remember what the boss... I assume it's going to wake up as soon as we get in there. This will give me ample opportunity to talk about our buffs. We've kind of been overdoing it. Flame grant me strength, exalted flesh, and the perfume bottle thing that we were crafting. Do not stack. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Here I was thinking I did the appropriate amount of research. But actually, that's encouraging because we already hit super hard without stacking buffs. Uh, Flame Grant Me Strength is going to give me 20% physical damage as well as 20% fire damage. So if we had a fire imbued stick, we could actually double dip, but we don't have that yet. Uh, so our buff is going to be a lot more simple. Uh, oh, I should do this first, though. Uh-oh. I hope my physic lasts long enough. All right. Red Tear Stone, Physic, Exalted Flesh. Golden Vow. Uh, drink. Two-hand determination. It's the Onyx Lord! Hey, bud. <laughs> no! no! Alright, big man. I've had enough of your stuff. I'm here to win. There's one hit. More importantly, interrupting whatever he was trying to do. Second hit, interrupting whatever he was trying to do. Determination one more time. He might go for the spell cast here. We're ready for it into the jumping attack. Fall back, fall back. Determination, interrupt. Ha! Determination! Oh, he could have killed me there. <laughs> oh, man. The Onyx Lord's Greatsword is our reward for that, as well as a bonfire and a tower that I'm probably, you know, I don't even know if I've ever been to the top of this tower. This might be a place that I completely forgot about when I was 100% clearing. Well, 16,000 souls for that is not too bad. I'm gonna pay it. Oh, you okay, bud? 
Oh, brain fruit forgiveness. I do that all the time too. Don't you worry about it. Uh, that's only three stones though. We're gonna need nine more to finish this off. So where else can we look? Uh, let's go ahead and level up with the rest of those souls, bringing our strength up to 45. We're level 45, coincidentally. Hey, giant. Uh, I don't want to deal with you, so if, if you could just kill me and reset this, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm not moving. Thank you. So we're at the capital outskirts because we need to head into the capital, specifically this area over here, to find a bunch of level six weapon upgrades. However, this place is being guarded by a very capable horse rider. If I'm not able to kill him, there are other ways for us to get into the capital, but I'd like to think that I could take on this challenge. I think we'll be okay. Uh, we also have the option of heading over to, oh, by the way, I ran over here, Volcano Manor, just to get inside. And I know there's some smithing stones inside here as well as you're traveling through uh, the city. I don't know where those are. I don't really know where the ones in the capital are. So either way I go, I'm going to be searching quite a lot. Uh, but let's see if we can take this on. We do have a, a statue right here, as we just saw, as the giant killed me. And there's also NPC summons if we felt like we needed one of those, which I don't. I th I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be okay. Uh, I tried this fight on a character on stream, and uh, it was kind of a similar thing, where it was just full strength. Um, and I got my ass handed to me here for like over an hour. Uh, but I didn't really, at, this was early on in Elden Ring's in life cycle, in Elden Ring's life cycle. I didn't really understand uh, weapon buffs or anything like that at the time. We were still very much learning the game. So, uh, going in fully buffed this time, I'm feeling a little more confident. Let's see if I have a right to be. He has noticed me. My plan is just to hit him in the face. Hey, 2,000 damage there. That's not bad. There's the horse stomp. We'll get on the other side of that. Shield swing, jumping attack. Oh, okay. I think we can clean that up. An important thing to remember with this is we do want to stay on the shield side of the boss, if at all possible. Good hit there. He's going to go on his hind legs again. We just charge up another attack. That's a stagger. Determination into another attack. Oh, my God. Phase transfer where we charge up another attack. And then... We got it. Wow, that was very easy. <laughs> as long as you get the momentum right, or the, I guess the pacing right on the way in, and you could dip around that attack, it's not too bad. He does do a little shield swipe that you have to watch out for, but I feel like we did really well there. And we get our first really good look at the Erd Tree and the path that leads to the throne. Very, very cool reveal. Uh, just in case you're wondering, I believe the soft cap for stats is in the neighborhood of 80 in this game. Could someone correct me on that? For a while I thought it was 60, but I actually think the soft cap for stats is 80. So that means we're, hi Melania, or whatever your name is. My utmost thanks for bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Welcome. Here. I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent, and the power to turn runes into strength, here, with you. Very kind of you. You, you have, I have. All right, take care. Take care, maiden. Maidenless again, boys. All right, we're gonna try to speed run ourselves over to the content that we actually care about in this capital. This place is massive, and there's also a subterranean level that on my first clear took me like three hours to get through. I wonder how long that would take me now. I don't feel like fighting this dragon, so we're gonna jump onto the lower level of the stairs here. Yes, indeed, these enemies are blowing bubbles to try to intimidate me. They can actually deal damage with that if you're not careful. Just like that! Ah! Uh, there is a drop down we can take early. Oh, it's not early. I'm still gonna take the drop down. 
and we're just going to head to the right over here. Now, this is where we're going to start to encounter some of the Capitol Guards. These guys do not mess around. I believe there's one behind me right now, and there's one here. Let's just give him a hit and see how he takes it. Yeah. Bro, we're nothing out here. We're nothing. Although, that wasn't half bad. 1,300 souls for that, too. Maybe I can just farm that guy. The bonfire we're looking for is going to be immediately, I guess not immediately, huh? But it's going to be right in between these two banners that are flying. You can see we're not alone. Ah, oh, he blocked me in. Come on. Come. No! Man, I have never been disrespected that bad in Elden Ring. <laughs> What's kind of cool is you can see the road we were just on right down there. Those are the carriages. Those are the banners that we saw just above my character's head. The scale of this place is really, really impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'll give you what's coming. Give me a second. To the right through here, there is a bonfire that we can rest at. And I believe... Maybe I'm mistaken. But I think that's the direction we're looking for. All right, we'll see if we can give this demon a piece of our mind. I'm pretty good at this fight generally. Uh, I have a lot of practice fighting stray demons and Dark Souls. That makes my job a little bit easier. Uh, he's not summoning in yet. There we go. Big hit as things start off with 2,000 damage. That's a stop from him. We're going to Determination. Slide right under this into a power attack. Slide right under that. Oh, God. Oh! Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> I think that may have been a frame perfect dodge. <laughs> Wait, how many souls are you worth? 10,000? That's literally nothing. Good thing he gives us a Lord rune as well. We can eat that for another 50,000. And of course, all of that is going into strength. We're at 52 right now. I'm starting to get worried that this city is just so massive that finding these stones is going to be like a needle in a haystack. Wait, he did not have a weapon in his hand. Where did he get that? Like, this might be the one back here, but I doubt it. He's going to swap back to the bow, right? Yep, Dragon Wound Grease is what the item was. We'll just keep dodging him as we make our way up here. All right, we've made landfall on the wall. Wait, what's this right here? This looks like, yeah, gravel. Guys, have any upgrade stones up here? <laughs> that was a pretty hard hit. Let's determination again. I'm going to have to do a jumping attack. Whoa! Wasn't ready for the combo. He is, though. God, just swinging with that shield up. Okay. Man, these guards are scary. More gravel. I don't need gravel. Uh, I'm not trying to fight the later bosses in the capital just yet. I am gonna come back here. I was just hoping to find some stones before that. Okay, this is the room I was looking for. Okay, thank you for your patience. I got turned around. I'm pretty sure a lot of our stones are over there. And just friendly reminder, we need nine more. Now, whether or not we're gonna find all those, you know, that's another thing. So if I go down this way and start looking towards this building. Hopefully we can find a way down soon. That guy lunged a lot more than I thought he would. And that musical note hurt pretty bad. Guess everything hurts pretty bad when you're this low on HP though. Oh, this opens the gate underneath where those guards were. That makes sense. We're bringing it all together. Uh, should I drop down from here, or does this continue to lead anywhere? Oh, it looks like a soft landing on this side, at least. Uh, well, you really get a sense of the scale of that dragon up here, huh? Uh, we have an archer raining down some lightning arrows on us, so luckily for me, I just need to go inside. And this place is super bizarre. I would love it if someone could fill in the blanks for me in the comments. Because this, nice, that's a good set. This is literally a mirror of the round table hold. Smithing stone five, no, we need sixes. 
you can find all of these places in the sanctuary where we go to level up, where we where we talk to NPCs. Granted, we haven't barely spoken to anyone as Bam Bam. She's more of a smash first talk later. To get up to the higher spots, do I just need to find another entrance here? Did that bow guy reset? Looks like he did. I think there's another side entrance over here, but I just heard a dog behind me. Oh! Dogs are quite possibly the scariest creatures in the game for me to fight. They are super fast, super agile. One hit is probably enough to kill me when our health is this low. And they like to do this thing where they like charge in for an attack. And then when you go to do the follow up, they've already jumped away to somewhere else. They vastly improved the dog AI in Elden Ring. Uh, I don't know if they can get up here though. <laughs> He's tested it. Golden rune. Okay, this leads back in. This is the upper floor. Come on. There's got to be one in here. Am I really wrong about all of this? Sanctified wet blade. That's used for ashes of war. Smithing stone six. Finally. Finally, we have one. <laughs> I think there's more in here. I'm going to keep checking all these rooms. Emote, buy my sword, hero rune. That's worth a lot of souls. Oh, this is where the dung eater normally is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, other than this door back here, which does open, I've picked this place pretty clean and only gotten one upgrade stone. That feels kind of bad. I was uh, really anticipating a lot more here. I guess they're kind of strung out through the city. Where I was thinking it was a concentration in this spot for some reason. Hello, this may seem like just a normal cut in this video, but I am actually Palatine from the future. I'm here because Walter sometimes gets really bad ADD and just starts wandering around and loses the topic of the video a little bit. But don't you worry, we'll fix that no problem. We're still looking for smithing stone sixes. There are definitely more inside of this city, but yesterday I couldn't find them and I started wandering off. Uh, so first thing, we're in that room that looks just like uh, the place that gives us safety. Uh, we're gonna run to the left as we run out, jump on that dragon claw there, and then this jump is actually kind of tricky. It's like a max range kind of thing. But if we get up here, there's gonna be a stone sword key, which we desperately need because I've only picked up like two of those in the game so far. And this body right here is a smithing stone six. Let's see if we can find some more. And knock you one shot. I believe this item on this ledge is also a six. What would be the easiest way of getting to that? Please don't attack me, dog. I'm not trying to get dog attacked right now. Okay, up this branch, we're gonna make a detour to the left. And I could find that ramp. Yeah, there's a staircase down right there. You know, <laughs> on the other side of the dragon that is definitely gonna wanna kill me. Uh, with any luck, I'll be a little bit faster than him, but... Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. And if I'm not mistaken, that's my prize! So what is it that actually makes this gargoyle mad? Is it when the music stops? Yep, 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 it's when the music stops. Heading back towards where we started the game, I'm pretty sure... There's one on like the lower levels here. Oh, bro, our damage has gone up already! Look at that! Yeah, this room looks familiar. Okay, those guys are gonna make my life a little difficult, and there's a capital guard to our left, so we need to keep things relatively contained. As you can see, that determination didn't do too much for me. It looks like we're picking up another ad here. I might try to dip out this way, although... Wait, is that what I'm looking for? Hey, what's this? Hey, thanks, mister! Appreciate you. Did I seriously just dodge that arrow by jumping? Oh my god. Oh, full disclosure, I did run over to the Volcano Manor in between episodes in the... I'll just show you really fast. 
This is the main hub. This is I haven't joined the Covenant or whatever these guys are yet. Uh, I haven't talked to that lady at all. But what I did do is run upstairs after I got the bonfire. There's an invader that uh, comes out with the pizza slicer. I haven't killed him yet, but there is a smithing stone six on that body right over there. If you're following along super closely, I have one more than you right now. And I wanted to let you know where I got that. Wanted to make sure. So we've already used three. We're at six right now. We at least have another upgrade. Uh, this is starting to really test what I remember here. Uh, there is one outside the city around here, I think. I'll meet you over there. So instead of going to the left, like we're trying to get into the capital, we're going to be going to the right underneath this. Oh, I almost jumped into it underneath this archway on the right. Oh, my, that's OK. That one just hit torrent. That one didn't hit me at all. <laughs> OK, there's a statue out here. Uh, unfortunately, these bears are not the solution to the statue. Uh, I'm also going to get this grace inside just in case I die. I wonder if I can even kill this bear. I'm not sure how <laughs> strong they are. Okay. Well, it's one less target not moving around. Now, where's the one we really need? Is it sleeping? Is it... Oh! <laughs> I am so glad I got that bonfire. Was he seriously laying in a bush, you motherfucker? Oh, I just noticed there's another one right here sleeping. No surprises. I'm sorry, you gotta go. <laughs> Are we the bad guy, dude? Uh, I'm gonna try to show off a trick. Our horse gives us immunity frames just like combat rolling does if we get on at the right time. So as soon as he starts to notice I'm here, perfect. We just get on the horse and ride right over here. Once again, we don't have to survive this. We just need him to break this open. How many was that? Two? I need to find one more. Crap. Double crap. <laughs> I know for a fact there is more in the Volcano Manor, so let's go ahead and join the Covenant. We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. An honor to have you. Now with the drawing room key, we can actually gain access to the interior volcano part of the manor. Uh, pushing this door open also should give us a gift that we do need for crafting. It's another perfume bottle. Illusionary wall on the right side. We're just going to run right through this. We'll turn our light on, though, so that YouTube encoder still lets you guys see something. Uh, budding horn. That's not what we want. Wait, isn't there a... Isn't there a uh, bloodhound <laughs> in here somewhere? A lot of snails on the roof trying to dodge them to the best of my ability. We are gonna have to double back that way. Nomadic Warriors cookbook. This leads back into the interior. I don't think this is gonna be it. Okay, so let me just dodge all these. Fuck. That's gonna kill me. Uh, how much health do we got? Nine? We might be able to live for a second with nine. Uh, if we make our way down here, this should connect to the outside, which would make our job really easy. Woo! Not poison anymore. Instead of walking into the Bloodhound, we're just going to go to the right this time. This exits out to the bonfire we're mostly going to explore Volcano Manor from. I was hoping to have this place in its own, like, isolated video, because there is actually some really important uh, items we can pick up here for our build. But I also need to upgrade my weapon as fast as I can. There was a really well-known skip right over here. If you could... Uh, raise this bridge. You could then get up on this. You maybe didn't even have to raise the bridge. I'm kind of foggy on it. And then jump up there. And that's actually a smithing stone seven. We are going to need that in the future. But I'm fairly certain there's a six just hanging out in this town over here. 
and hopefully we won't have to do too much exploring. These lizard guys hit so hard, and I don't think we really have good enough damage to be super impactful. Like, we're not going to do anything meaningful to those guys. Hopefully, we can outrun those dogs for a little bit longer. Oh, I didn't know you were here. Never come this way. Sorry. Sorry, I don't know what came over me. Please ignore me. We're going to have to cut this corner. I'm going to have to find a spot to heal. There is more dogs along that path. This drops down into the center of the city. Uh, I guess we'll just keep pushing. On the right, we have fire arrows. Completely useless for me. Thank you very much. We're going to lose the dogs by dropping off here. Looks like one did follow us. Excuse me. There is some lootable stuff in the center of town. This guy looks terrifying. Uh, uh, that's not good. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Golden rune? Still not good? Oh, there's a jail cell over here. I'm sure this will be fine. This will be great for me. Ooh, Earth Tree Seal. Wonderful. Wait, can you... Some of you can come in here. Can we keep this poison outside, please? Oh, God. Well, down there was a bust, but there's also items on the rooftops here as well. I'm seeing some as a pretty intricate path up to the right. Uh, this is our normal path for how we get through the majority of the conflict here. So I'm pretty comfortable on this side of the streets. Uh, oh, something in the middle there. I don't know what that is. Let's give it a look. Excuse me. Golden Rune 5. Okay, we'll try taking this path up top then. I gotta stop running. A little too unstable. Hold on. What's this? Come on, give me something good. Golden Rune 9. Damn it. Come on. I know there's one up here. There's, <laughs> there's gotta be one up here. Oh my god, that was the smoothest thing I've ever done. Please like the video. Please like the video. That was... That was legit speedrun level maneuvers right there. Uh, well, that was a bust. There is some stuff on the rooftops over here. I may have to actually fight this guy, though. I don't want to. Uh, ladder? Can we get on it quick? He might get stuck in that little walkway. That might be a little too narrow for him. There's definitely items up here on this roof as well. And a hidden path into the building. I like how this deteriorated into just me telling you how to walk through uh, Volcano Manor. How much do you want to bet one of those items is one? That means we gotta go inside. Okay, I'm gonna check this thing in the corner. This area isn't too deadly. The problem is these guys are basically alarm clocks for the guys who actually do damage here. Oh, item on the right. That's not what I want. Uh, we're going to move to the left and try to make our way down through this. I think we're chilling. We're going to skip these stairs. Uh, there are some more dudes roaming around. I don't think this will be my item. It is not. And that is a guy that will actively follow me and try to chase me down. So we need to move out of there fast. This is the alarm clock for more dudes that'll do exactly the same. But there is <laughs> a grace here. I don't think it'll let me sit because we're in combat. But at least we triggered it. We could teleport back to that if we need it. As far as how to leave this place, this wasn't it. Explosive great bow. Excuse me. Uh, does this just lead back inside? It sure does. Okay, this is the way out. I was hoping we could find a uh, smithing stone. I know there's one down in the lava somewhere. I don't know where. I was really hoping I would find one up there. I'm not going to lie to you. It's possible that some of these upgrades might be... God, I can't even step in the lava. We don't really have the health for that. Uh, it's possible some of these items might be locked behind a boss or something. Oh, this is bad. Oh, ho, ho. Bro, I got like two seconds of lava walking that I'm capable of doing. We may not be able to take a normal path through here. I'm pretty sure you have to lava walk. 
Uh, this is coming up with a bust again. Is there anything on rooftops here, maybe? I'm gonna have to kill this one. Oh, this health isn't as bad as I thought. That attack is, though. Good, Stagger. We're gonna Determination R2 to finish him. Perfect. That makes our time here a little bit easier. Uh, I suppose since I've done this much, we might as well get the shortcut. I'm thinking my item's down there somewhere, though. Oh, this sucks to be so close and yet so far. Uh, speaking of which, I'm most definitely skipping this guy. E hits so hard. I'm not ready for that just yet. To the right is where the next big boss is going to be located. It's going to be a very challenging one for us to do. But here's the shortcut back to where we started. You know, I feel like that's one of the longest cutscenes in the game. And it's literally just to watch a bridge, a bridge rise up. <laughs> that's kind of weird, right? <laughs> oh, items hanging off the ledge are usually good. Come on. Come on, please. Let me in the video. <sighs> All right, big man. <laughs> when he gets up, he's not going to get up. I was going to have an R2 ready for him. Wow, that was actually pretty clean, too. Okay, there is an item on the rooftop right here. It looks like I can get back to the... Oh, that was a dude. I thought it was an item. Why does this exist? Wait, there is something. What are you protecting? It better be good. Oh, yes! Finally! Okay. I can't get out of here. <laughs> oh, no. No, not like this. Well, back to round table hold we go. We'll just go ahead and consume one of these hero runes that we've been picking up all over the place. That'll give us more than enough souls to upgrade our weapon as high as we can get it. Uh, Smithing Stone 7s are oh, just starting to get in reach of our character, uh, but things are gonna start to get really difficult because our weapon is not going to con continue scaling quite as fast as it has been. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. This was a big progress episode and feels good to get it done. We'll be back again soon with more Bam Bam. See you again soon, goodbye.